first. Gengar versus Stoles though. Stoles was the number one seed. And he, he dropped straight down to the losers. So it's interesting to see who's gonna come out between Gengar and Stoles. <laughs> to be honest, I kinda wa wanted to watch that too. Based on past tournament uh, results, Gengar frequently makes it to top eight, and then he has a mediocre performance afterwards. So yeah. I'd imagine Stoles advances. <laughs> that was a joke, but it, it came yeah. Like yeah. across yeah. a little cold. <laughs> it, it, it is it is a slight it is a joke though inside joke, um, especially for Gengar. He he does very well in the beginning, but kind of one of those players that are almost there but not at the finish line. Just takes a little more. Mhm. Mm All right. As you can see, like you can drop games just like off of one turn. I I remember seeing this in the last tournament where. Uh, like it takes one turn for you to lose a, ra lose a round and then you just get like dropped down to losers because you don't uh, you aren't given the chance to play another game with your better matchup and that last game I normally Heelhaven does well against Blood yep. and you saw him he was like one move uh, away from surviving that turn and probably possibly winning the game yeah. I don't know it's still a stretch because um the Blood player still had an Evolve left, and there wasn't ex any extra healing in Dodo player's hand, so... He was, uh, drawing them one by one as well. Yeah. So now we have... Tornus. Tornus versus... Uh... Noir. Tornus is running a standard charge haven list in conjunction with a tempo forest, so he's not running Alana's and uh, PTP. Hmm. Noir is running a demonic strike mid range sword with storm haven. So this is a uh, this is the tempo mirror. Yep. Both both players are playing full tempo. Apparently both of us are uh, mirroring each other's taunt. <laughs> Except oh. that one of them doesn't get the uh, the countdown. Yeah. Like this hand looks pretty amazing. Actually. Um. Mm, would you? I, w I wouldn't play the Temple Defender there because like the four four trades into it, like. Im Instantly, it doesn't even matter that you played the Temple Defender instead of the Prison Priest. Or that gets Black Inscription, and then six to the face. I either way, um, I would have played the. I guess his new. intention actually was to force the uh, the Tiger into it, so he saved himself some health. Mm. Unfortunately, the Black Inscription gets rid of it anyways. Yeah. But he he does uh, eliminate the entire Beast Galaria with Cudgel. Feel, I feel like he could have just played the menu instead of the uh, if he went Blaster. for the yeah. Oh no, he was trying to. Uh, so what happens in that situation is you want to lower the amount of damage you're taking, hmm. and when you play the Temple Defender, while the four four does trade into it evenly and it gives you a good trade, uh, you are forcing the four damage into one of your creatures instead of your face. Hmm. And as second player, you want to be. Um, protecting your face as much as possible. Right. Holy cow, the amount of stuff you can put on this board is ridiculous. Heavenly Hound with Prison Priest and possibly doing 8 damage to your opponent. Uh, he has to like hedge against uh, Themis Decree though. That is a thing. Does Noir run Themis Decree? Yeah, uh, Noir actually has one copy of Themis Decree. Is he gonna do black and scripture here? Nope. This is fine. He's just gonna fall face. Yep. This is a ridiculous board. Should be right. He 
is looking worse and worse for Noir. He doesn't have the, uh... He doesn't seem to have an answer. response to Beast Call Aria and Priest of the Cudgel. Like, you look at the cards, the only high-value cards he's played are the Aria and... That's pretty much it. Tornus was able to drop down Aria, Cudgel, in conjunction with a boosted Hound, and... Yep. Yeah. And then the scripture, and then eight to the face. Yep. I think it really all boiled down to the uh, him not having a, a decent turn three. If he had been able to drop a divine bird song on turn three instead of whatever he mm. played, I forget. Um, or even turn four, a bird song instead of the plea that he put. I don't actually recall what they played on those turns, but. Yeah, you, as first player, you, you really do need to curve out into amulets or creatures. Yeah. Otherwise, the uh, the massive tempo swing that Cudgel brings will most certainly... By the way, I just got in the news. Remember Gengar versus Stalls? Mm hmm Ha! Gengar, Gengar won. Okay. Yay! Good for him. Which means that Stalls... Who was the number one on the Swiss? Drops with the with Dota player, which means that almost everyone from the previous tournaments, except for Tornis and Noir and Gons, are, are left. Dead. Dead. Okay. Dead. Yep. Yep. Here we go. Next game. Wing Garuda for the win. And now we get to see his forced versus Haven, possibly. Quite unfortunate for Noir. Yeah, that's what happens in Temple Mirrors. Uh, you miss a significant drop on a certain turn you just lose the game. He really needed a bird song on turn three or turn four. Um, if you skip those turns and your opponent has cudgel, it's just really bad uphill battle from there. It's difficult to come back. So we have one more round. Will Noir stay with the Haven versus Forest, or would he go for the Swords? I feel like Cavencraft should be, yeah. Oh, that's a good starting end. What? Do you know why he would uh, throw away the, um, the the one drop two fairies? No, because you know it's Stormhaven, and uh, that card is slow. Mm. You don't want a slow card against a Temple Mirror. Yeah. Although the thing about uh, Stormhaven is that they don't actually wait. They don't actually um have minion presence on turns 1 through 3 most of the time. Yep. So, I'm actually surprised he played the May out, but I guess it makes sense if he's going to follow up with Elisa. It's just, why not save it for the pinion? But, mm. if you play Elisa here, it just gets killed off by the pinion. So I don't know if he wants to do it right now. I actually kind of agree with uh, Tornus' play. Um, exactly as you said, it turns 1 through 3, he doesn't have anything, and he would need to go phase. But I also understand that 
you would need at least an elf mage to snipe the 2-1 uh, in this situation. Usually it's a sacred play that you want to play on, you know, uh, that you want to put down a 1-drop to go face. They're deliberating over whether he wants to trade with Fleas or not, he just goes face. Yep. Well smorked. Um... Fairy Whisper, put a fairy. Is that what he drew? He drew fairy a fairy whisper? whisper, yep. Okay. Oh, he's still going face. Okay. I forgot about that too. Uh, he's got a roll. 66. It's probably Otherwise, gonna. Yeah, if he misses the pinion, I actually think he loses this, loses from that. So hopefully he does not. It's quite lose the good roll. It's quite the risk. Oh. He's actually. Oh, okay. He's deciding to take the play where there's no chance of missing that RNG, zero RNG play. Mm. Though he could just play another minion down, like a cudgel or an Erd, and it's the same result. I think I would have went with the uh, Elf Child May, and at least have a board presence. Though he did draw into a Sylvan Justice, so that could help out, especially with an Evo. Actually, he could just Evo the Water Fairy 3-3, three, three, play the Elf Child, clear one, play the Sylvan Justice, clear the other. So. I actually would have liked to see him do the Elf Child May first. If, like, if it hits the 3-3, three, three, you can Sylvan Justice and then keep something on board. Yeah. Keep your Evo stats on board. Yeah. I... I think this, he... this is fine because it clears everything, actually. Yeah, this is fine. Yeah, I think um, he just wanted to go save. That's more guaranteed instead of that RNG. Actually, but the play I suggested would have left opinion on the board, so yeah, this is fine. Yeah. It wasn't really. It's like not about safety, it's about like clearing everything off. Mm -hmm. uh, I was thinking about like. It probably makes sense for him not to do my play because what the end result of what would have happened was the 3-1, you get a 3-1 on board, the opponent gets a 2-1 on board. Yeah. But in a situation, you don't want your opponent to have anything on board. Um... Play all the fairies. He has Wind Gun for next turn. So it can start swarming up. He's gonna wish that he needed that Angelic Barrage. Ah, oh, let's see. Themis here. Nope. He has three cards left, five. He needs to put at least a creature on board. Oh! <laughs> Never mind. All according to plan. I think in those situations, uh, when you decide whether you want to use the mana for Angel Barrage or not, you gotta think, do I have a good play next turn, assuming that he put, develops his board? Yep. Like, uh, it was correct to play Angel Barrage on turn six, if he had, or, or on turn five, if he has another Angel Barrage. Yep. Or, um, Garuda. So, I thought he had a Garuda, but he didn't actually. It was just another barrage. Which isn't too bad. Oh, oh that Crystallia Eve is gonna be scary. Mm -hmm. He needs a uh, Garuda for this. Interesting. Not really. Yeah, if if uh, Tornus doesn't have a taunt, he dies next turn. Yeah. Oh wait, he does have a taunt. There's a Tia. What am I saying? Yeah. Uh, he has a taunt. Uh, he can yeah. say he can do one. Save the the other Tia. Push down another Tia in. Well, as long as he plays another like a fairy circle. I think the correct play here is to try to keep as much health on your uh, 
Eve as possible. So he's going to sack his T on board, Fairy Circle, Fairy, Tia, and then trade in the 6 6 on board and try to save health on your taunt. Yeah. Does he uh, run um, Demon Strikes? Who? Haven? Uh, yeah. Um, I mean, there's a number of things you can draw. Death Dance works. Um, what else is there in his deck? Demonic Strike, Black yes. Inscription. Oh, he does actually, run Demonic Strike? Strike? He does have two Demonic Strikes, actually. Mm. Yeah. There's also Garuda. There's there's only one Moon Owl. Okay. Um, okay yeah. We'll see. I think he, he evoed, and something tells me he has a Demonic Strike in his hand right now. Wait, what happened to the first Tia? The first Tia? Yeah. It's still the same Tia. No, I mean, the Tia he had on board, why didn't he trade it in? He didn't trade it in because he wanted... Oh, did he bounce it? Yeah, he bounced it. Okay. I, I thought the better play was to preserve health on your Eve, but I think mm. this, this is fine. <laughs> Still alive. No demonic strike or Garuda. Ooh. This could just be PM, but no, it's actually him not having the kill. Is there any way he can come back from yeah, this? Yeah, Roach. That's a win. He can do 11? Oh no! Wait, let me think. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That, that is, that is oh the my. kill. Oh my. Yeah, that was exactly what he needed. How much <laughs> we... Oh wow, that Fuck. top. Yeah. He he broke it. He, he he broke the curse. Yeah, he did break the curse. Ah. There was no other draw in the game that would have killed uh, Noir. It's because his beloved fans gave him energy to get him this win. That was disgusting. Okay. Yeah. Kappa pride. And Tornis takes the match 2-0, knocking Noir to losers. Close game. Nice comeback. Something 